It's been a court battle in other states, and now it's happening in Alaska. Steve Kirch tells us about a lawsuit filed to have former President Donald Trump disqualified from appearing on Alaska's 2024 presidential election ballot. Steve? Mike Maria, the lawsuit was filed by a Texas attorney and 2024 presidential longshot candidate John Anthony Castro. However, some Republican leaders feel the lawsuit will gain very little steam heading into 2024, even with the Colorado Supreme Court ruling to keep Trump off that state's ballot. On his social media and campaign website, the Texas attorney says he has legal standing here in Alaska because he intends to either appear on the ballot here in the state for the Republican primary or to be formally recognized as a write-in candidate for the general election. Like Colorado, the lawsuit asks the court to disqualify Trump from the ballot under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment and find that Trump provided aid and comfort to the insurrectionists on January 6, 2021. The lawsuit says on January 29, 2022, Trump publicly stated, if I run and if I win, we would treat these people from January 6 fairly. We treat them fairly. And if it requires pardons, we will give them pardons. It also states Castro will suffer irreparable competitive injuries if Trump is able to secure votes in primary elections and secure funds. It goes on to say Castro has spoken to thousands of voters who have expressed that they would vote for Castro only if Trump is not a presidential candidate, as they maintain political loyalty to Trump. Alaska Lieutenant Governor Nancy Dahlstrom, who oversees Alaska's elections, is also named in the lawsuit. It asks the court to issue an injunction against the lieutenant governor and prevent her from giving Trump access to the ballot. Regarding the lawsuit, the Alaska Department of Law said in a statement, We have not been served with this lawsuit, and we do not know whether the plaintiff wishes to pursue it. He has voluntarily dismissed many of his similar lawsuits in other states. And Alaska Republican Party Chair Ann Brown says in part, until the plaintiff achieves service, his lawsuit cannot move forward. There appears to be little chance at this stage that his lawsuit would exclude President Trump from the Alaska ballot. I did reach out to the chair of the Alaska Democratic Party. A spokesman for the party says it has no comment to issue at this time. Steve Kirch, Alaska's News Source.